FNVSS 127 is NHTSA's new safety regulation for vehicles in the US. And for the first time, vehicles in the US will be required to have automatic emergency braking systems that can protect vehicles in the event of a potential rear end collision, or even protect pedestrians that might walk in front of an approaching vehicle. And this regulation stretches manufacturers because it requires higher speed operation. And it also requires vehicles to stop and avoid a collision every time. Whereas some of the Euro NCAP and UNECE regulations have allowed for collision mitigation and allowed for some minor impacts whilst also preventing those most severe collisions. FMVSS 127 is more challenging and that's because for this testing vehicle manufacturers must ensure that there's no collision between the test object and the vehicle under test. And some of the challenges also come around because there are now new tests that will require the operation of automatic emergency braking or forward collision warning at higher test speeds. So the regulation lists speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. And that means that systems on vehicles will need to detect the vehicle ahead and the hazard earlier so that they can apply the brakes in sufficient time to avoid the collision. Further challenges exist because we have a requirement now for testing in night conditions. And unlike some of the Euro NCAP tests, the regulation has the requirement for complete darkness. So there are no street lights to provide additional illumination and the systems will have to rely on the illumination from the headlights, either dipped or full beam, or the detection that comes natively from the radar or lidars that might form part of the automatic emergency braking system. So although this regulation won't come into force until 2029, vehicle manufacturers and tier ones will want to start testing against the new regulation. And that's really important because although automatic emergency braking systems are widespread, these new regulations have enhanced requirements for operation at higher speed and also a requirement for improved reliability and robustness, given that the performance of the system must be 100% each and every time. So in conducting the necessary testing, many of the challenges are around creating a safe and repeatable environment. But by using soft targets and by using robot control, you can accurately control the scenario and ensure you get really precise results each and every time. AB Dynamics has been providing test solutions that support the development of automatic emergency braking for over 10 years. Our test solutions span the entire breadth of equipment requirements. And that means we have solutions for the test vehicle and also solutions for dummies or the propulsion systems. And when you put all of these things together, you have the possibility to create accurate and repeatable tests each and every time. And that's exactly what's needed to prove out the reliability and the function of automatic emergency braking systems. FMVSS 127 and the regulations behind it will help to raise the bar for automotive safety globally. These standards have new demands on the capability of automatic emergency braking systems requiring higher speeds and higher levels of robustness and reliability.